Hey Star Wars fans, welcome back to another one of my reviews videos. I know it doesn't have the same catch as usual Mike's news. Um, <laughs> but yeah, here we are, week 10 of Bring Home the Bounty. A couple of really cool reveals this week. Really, really looking forward to sharing these. We have a Black Series item and a couple of vintage collection items. Um, and yeah, for everything else, go and check out StarWars.com to sort of see all the little bits and pieces. There were some fig pins and some Funko Pops and some other bits and pieces this week. So we're just going to cover the, the Hasbro Star Wars stuff here as always. So let's take a look at the first thing. So first up, we have a new addition to the Black Series helmet line, which is, you know, they've done some absolutely amazing work in the past, continue to do so. And uh, this one looks quite amazing really Bo-Katan's helmet from uh, based on her appearance in the Mandalorian um, yeah absolutely fantastic we live in a day where we are very spoiled with Mandalorian related related stuff it's fantastic I know a bunch of people that are gonna want this one um, looks to be an awesome display piece um, but yeah let's take a look at the uh, unboxed image here it is, Hasbro's attention to detail with what they've done with the helmet line has been nothing short of amazing. Um, took them a few tries to get it right. Um, I think the Kylo Ren one was probably the last sort of eh one. Uh, the Vader one was pretty magnificent. Stormtroopers have been great. And uh, yeah, most of the Boba Fett helmets, despite the fact that they've sort of been repainted and repacked and stuff, have been a really good quality helmet. And uh, for the price point, you can, really can't go wrong. Um, make dis great display pieces great cosplay pieces etc etc so anyone big mandalorian big bo katan fans i know they're going to want this one they're going to jump all over it so uh that's it for black series this week and jumping over to the vintage collection if you remember last week we were revealed uh three different deluxe packs for the vintage collection here we have the first one from the book of boba fett and you can sort of see on the card back there the book of boba fett logo on the vintage style card with uh boba fett tatooine so uh yeah this is the first figure that is based wholly and solely from the book of boba fett given the black series version was more of his outfit from uh mandalorian season two but uh i dare say we will still see that outfit in Book of Boba Fett before he uh, up does a little upgrade and upgrades to this armor here which looks really really good um, really cool looking piece I'm loving the look of these these boxes these are uh, deluxe pieces and uh, yeah let's take a look at the loose image and as you can see he has come with an awesome looking outfit I love I just there's something about the green and the red on the black the yellow uh, looks it just looks awesome he's got his bright sort of he's got his sort of red tan color boots um maroon not tan um and it's kind of come with a couple of stormtrooper helmets as well which looks cool little beat up stormtrooper helmets which uh we have seen in the mandalorian so i dare say we could see these again at some point i'd love to see them on some spikes but uh yeah he's also going to have a firing rocket that you can remove from the jetpack and it looks like you potentially be able to add a little flame to it um just to give it a little bit more effect but uh yeah i'm looking forward to this boba fett figure and uh yeah if there's any figure that i want to put my with my slave one on display it's gonna be this one so i'm i'm really really pumped for this figure and to wrap things up we have a brand new book of boba fett vintage collection figure on a nice really nice looking card back honestly Phoenix shand she looks amazing still haven't got a hold of the black series one that'll probably come late next uh, mid early next year for me um they don't show have any signs of sort of showing up here in australia anytime soon so just gonna be patient there um now this one looks absolutely fantastic um look at all the accessories sitting there in the bubble we've got a sniper rifle we've got a smaller blaster we have her sort of blue glass beverage container that she has at the end of book of boba fett on the throne and a helmet which looks fantastic so many accessories for for a figure there it looks great i think the likeness looks really good here on a three and three quarter inch figure um the soft goods down the bottom there for a skirt which is really really nice i'm not sure why the black series didn't get that i do like the plastic all the way through sometimes sometimes it's nice to sort of see the that uh soft goods for it you know just the added possibility as you can sort of see down there next to her too we've got the uh 
the blue beverage container, which looks really, really cool. Nice accessories. I love little accessories like that. I think it's fantastic. Um, yeah, looking forward to seeing what this blaster does in the show because that looks really cool too. Obviously, we know she uses the sniper rifle, which she has slung across her back there. Looks really good. I love her outfit. Love the look of Fennec Shan. She looks amazing. Um, yeah, definitely another figure that I'm pumped for. You know, this doubles as a Mandalorian figure too. So, yeah, definitely another figure that has uh, interacted with the Razor Crest as Hasbro did promise as many as possible <laughs> for that. So, I'm pumped. I'm really, really excited. So that wraps up week 10 of Bring Home the Bounty. We only got two more weeks left and we'll be straight into Book of Boba Fett after that. So exciting times, folks. Exciting times. The heat is the, the heat is on. Um, yeah, let me know what you think of these reveals down in the comments below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button and give that little notification bell a little jingle so you don't miss any new videos that come out here on my channel greatly appreciated also just did a new video for my memberships um, check that out I've upgraded the tiers I've made it a little bit more clearer and uh, yeah if you jump want to jump on board that'd be greatly appreciated definitely helps support the channel here so thank you all once again for your support I really appreciate you tuning in and checking it out so stay tuned for more videos coming up very, very soon, and uh, see you on the next one. Until then, may the force be with you, always.